this wonderful $450 million Grand Challenges in Global Health Program has really achieved a lot. It's brought some brilliant new players into the international health space. I think that's been a great achievement. One thing that came across very early, that this project wasn't about genetically modifying bananas, but it was about alleviating micronutrient deficiencies in Uganda, and to do that we actually had, had to have a product at the end. And that's been really good, that really focuses the mind. The Gates Foundation have put in place a number of supporting grants, so they're helping us with, with, with biosafety, they're helping us with regulation, they're helping us with communication. The Grand Challenge Initiative accomplished several things. First, it's really draw the attention of the scientific community in the world to focus on the health challenges in developing countries. And second, it's uh, us, it designed, it's really attracted a lot of scientists from developing countries to work on these uh, very critical issues. The impact of the Grand Challenge funding was truly transformational. Uh, there had never really been a team put together to address the constraints of cassava-based agriculture. It was a tremendous learning experience for many of us and uh, we now feel that we have a product development pipeline that is uh, outstanding. A lot of innovations have been generated across the board. In all these efforts, I would say that the innovations have been uh, are generated are enormous and they have great, great potential to actually make a big impact uh, globally. A simple sense, um, our project is looking for a way to effectively vaccinate mosquitoes themselves so they can't transmit dengue between people. The Grand Challenges has been a great opportunity for us in that we had enough resources um, to really pull together a team of experts. This project has really gone much more quickly than we ever expected it to. In a short period of time, we've been able to move from an idea in the lab to be getting out to doing actual field testing. Our Grand Challenge project was all about trying to develop a new type of vaccine technology. This uses attenuated or safe viruses to produce immune responses that other vaccines can't generate. And the exciting news is that today we are producing stronger cellular immunity than any other vaccine type that has ever been reported. And what that means is we're now protecting a significant proportion of people against malaria with this new technology. The uh, awarding of our Grand Challenges uh, uh, project uh, grant um, enabled us to attack head-on the problem, what are the correlates of immune protection for HIV-1? but it also allowed us to leverage the novel insights to probe other areas of science that um, are also important on a global basis. Hepatitis C virus and malaria, just as two examples. It's been game changing, and I think uh, in many ways uh, uh, it's been game, game changing for me personally as well because it's opened up my eyes to what it takes to actually translate an academic model into a real-world application. I've come to understand the process of not just discovery but development and deployment and understand that sometimes it's not enough to just do the one, but you have to keep your eye on the prize in order to achieve an end. Mm -hmm.